Math 31, let's try and unpack synthetic division. So synthetic division is a shorthand method of dividing polynomials when the divisor is a binomial expression with a one as the coefficient of the variables. Now that's going to become important. There's a couple of things that we need to make sure are happening when we use synthetic division. And what that's trying to say, what that sentence is trying to say is if you look at this denominator here, this divisor, we do have a binomial and this lead coefficient is one. So we're in good shape here. And if it's not one, I can show you a workaround, but I just want you to be aware that for synthetic division to work, that lead coefficient has to be one. Okay, and then we're gonna show you in the next section that it also serves as a useful tool to factor polynomials, find function values, and help you find zeros of polynomials. So synthetic division is awesome in that it can be applied in many different ways, but the first thing we're gonna look at it or use it for is to, to divide these polynomials. Now this is the exact same quotient that we had in example one. So we already know the answer, right? We know that we should get 3x plus 22 plus 128 in ratio to x minus four. That was our answer that we got in example one. It's not going to change just because we use synthetic division. So let me show you how to mark up synthetic division. I'm gonna scooch this up so I have enough space and then just trust me on a couple things and we'll start to see the patterns, okay? So how synthetic division works is you usually put the zero of your, your divisor in this little, I, I put it in this, I call it a house. I don't think anyone else calls it a house, but, but I do. And how you determine what number to put in there is you look at your divisor and what would zero out this, this factor. And if x minus four were to be equal to zero, you get x equaling four, so that is the number that you put in there. And it might just be easier to remember it's the opposite of whatever number you see here. So if you see a negative four, put a positive four in there. All right, the next thing you have to line up in order to get synthetic division to work is you need to put here to the right of your house the coefficients of your numerator. So in this case, it's three, 10, and 40. So I'm gonna write three, 10, and 40, okay? Now, I want you to just take note right now that I had descending powers of x, right? x squared, x to the one, this is technically x to the zero, and I didn't skip over any powers. I mentioned there's a couple of things we need to be on the lookout for when using synthetic division. The first one is that that coefficient has to be one, and the other thing is that we didn't skip over powers. And I can show you a workaround for both of those things, but I'm not gonna do that on the first example we're, we're working through together. All right, so just note, x squared x and then no x's. So I had descending powers of x and I didn't skip it over any. All right, so this is how this works. Put a line here. Here's where you're gonna do some math. And I usually, when I use synthetic division, this was how I told myself to work it. I would say I would add up and down and I would multiply across. Now, if this works for you, great. If it doesn't, then ignore it. I used to just give myself all sorts of, oh, I can't spell across. Right now I'm blanking on, I think you spell across with one C. Anywho, um, but anyways, when I was going through math, I, I gave myself all sorts of little, I don't know, things to help me remember how to do certain, certain math operations, and this was just one of them. If it works, great. If it doesn't, like I said, come up with your own. So when I say add up and down, Anytime I wanna go up and down, I wanna write a number here, I will add up and down. And, and the, first start of, the first step in any synthetic division is just to bring this number down. All right, so this is technically three plus zero, three. All right, then I need to take care of these numbers. And you can kind of see that my pencil is, is diagonal. So I want to multiply across these numbers. So I will do four times three and put a 12 here. All right, then I wanna use these numbers and they're straight up and down, so I'm gonna add. And this is going to be 10 plus 12, which is 22. And then the 22 has to get hooked onto the four and you see me crossing. So I would multiply across. Well, four times 22 is 88. The next thing I wanna do is add up and down. So this is 128. And you can see, I, I usually put my remainder, I, I block off that last number. You can see the three the 22 and the 128, and those correspond to the coefficients, 3, 22, and 128. And how you determine where your starting power is, well, this is x, this is x squared, right? So if I'm dividing x into x squared, 
if my numerator is x squared and I divide by x, I'm gonna lose one power of x. So this means I should start with three x. This has got to be the constant, and this has got to be the remainder over my divisor. All right, and that's a pretty sick, I think it's a great hack, right? That is awesome that I, I just have to do that kind of calculation and I can figure out the answer to this quotient. All right, so with that, I'm gonna hit the pause. I'm gonna come back with you. We're gonna try example four. If you think you got the hang of synthetic division, try it on your own before I get to it. All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye.